Selena Gomez is keeping it real on social media. The 30-year-old Rare Beauty founder shared some makeup-free photos of herself to her Instagram on Wednesday, capturing the post simply, me. Not only does Selena show off her bare skin in the pics, but she also let her natural curls fall freely. Selena is never afraid to be her true self, and fans love her for it. The only Murders in the Building star's fresh face photos come just a few weeks after she clapped back at Body Shamers, following her appearance at the 2023 Golden Globes. In an Instagram Live clip from the night of the awards and later reshared on TikTok, Selena made light of her holiday indulgences while laughing with younger sister and nine-year-old Globes date, Gracie Teefee, proving once again that the haters won't get anywhere with Selena. Right now, because I enjoyed myself during the holidays. I mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> the Back to You songstress has long been a body positivity advocate and open about her journey towards self love. Last year, the Emmy nominee released a personal documentary called Selena Gomez My Mind and Me, which chronicles her life over the past six years. In November, Access Hollywood Zuri Hall chatted with the Wizards of Waverly Place alum at the film's premiere and Selena explained why she made the decision to share her behind the scenes vulnerability. How much vulnerability, how much, if any, fear was there attached to that? Oh, yeah, I'm still scared, actually. Yeah. It, it was very uncomfortable, to be honest, in moments, but then I feel like it was also necessary. I yeah. thought the story needed to be bigger than just me and my music. I, I think it took a life of its own, and he just created the story that truly is my life in a time capsule. Yeah. Your life in a time capsule, it is inspiring. It's gut-wrenching. You know, I ask this next question, and I don't ask it lightly, and only so much as you're comfortable sharing, but that log line behind us says, every breath, a breakthrough. What does that mean for you? And in your darkest moments of that struggle, what did you maybe fear most? I think I was scared of myself, the way I was treating myself the way I was talking about my body it breaks my heart to, to think that's who I was and it was really heartbreaking for me to know that I hope I never I just don't want anyone to feel what I feel or has walked through I feel like you this can't not be an emotional <laughs> carpet for you what are you feeling right now and why i'm very nervous um this has been exciting but a little overwhelming to be honest i think i am still like a little shaky but i'm excited to be here and i'm happy that it's gonna be released so really quickly anyone struggling at home who may be watching and going through something similar who may feel like their darkest days are still ahead what would you say to them what would you encourage them i with? would encourage them to to be not afraid to seek help, but at the same time, learn about it, understand what it is, because once you have the knowledge of what you're going through, you're less afraid of it. So I would say learn as much as you can.